Let's see if the dailies up. Ah, I'm like half an hour too early. Okay, that's fine. We can do some other stuff whilst I uh, wait for that. Yeah, I'm starting a fresh file and I'm gonna 100% it, so. Let's see, what do I wanna do? Alright, let's play as Maggie. I haven't played as her as all. As of like what, two years ago? Jeez, it's been ages. That's probably good for uh, Maggie. We'll see. probably do that. Poison bombs, all right. <laughs> I got a bit greedy there. It's okay, it worked out. Ah, I didn't think it was gonna explode on me. Probably just gonna dump all the money in once I got the chance. Whoa. Why are the shots all bright? Am I imagining it? Did I accidentally turn on high visibility? Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Hey, Nikta, how's it going? Oh, and thank you for the gift sub to Aiona. Very much appreciated. You get your own rip emote now, so you can use it when I die. I think that's probably the most relevant one. Or if you're a fan of the salt train or the smut train, you get that too. The one thing about this game is I can't look at chat as often as I'd like to. I can only turn my head for half a second or risk getting hit. That's a good start. Uh, I mean, she's one of the characters that can do this really well, so I might... Hmm. I'm just thinking. Alright, I'm gonna do it. It's already got the blessing, so there you go. Okay, 
Yeah, we'll stop there. I'll be back later. Hoping at the very least I can get an angel room item out of that. Milk. Hmm. X -lags. <laughs> and that's a bad idea to grab that item. Unless you have something. Something that happens on pit, otherwise it's it's not worth it. Like it's just a liability. Oh. that in mind. Oh, oh nice. Okay, good pick up. All right, I'm going back. that. <laughs> hey, it's one of the best trinkets because it gives you a good supply of money. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know if I should fuck with this further. Take this. I think the next one's the angel. I'm not even sure it happens at this point. Because it's an early file, I haven't unlocked them normally. Yeah, I'm not really sure what'll happen. It's either gonna be nothing or it'll take me there. I think this one's gonna be hard to guess where it is. Now I'm gonna try for it. Cause now I have health. <laughs> Big poop, rainbow poop, all the poop. The golden one is the missing one, and the black one. Ah. 
Oh, it still works. Wow. Okay. The strategy is use the uh, the spike to kill it. I'd be being very ballsy if I did this. I should probably donate here. Yeah. So there's one other thing I can do. still gonna do it. I'm a gambler. I gotta do this. Wow, it wasn't there. Okay. Cool, that evens out. <laughs> I didn't get anything from it, but I didn't lose anything. Okay, hold on, it's not over yet. Okay, so... negative pill I take, it's positive somewhat. What's that? Jawbreaker, don't chew on it. No idea. Cool. 
Right now the problem I have is I don't have damage. I didn't pick up the item on the previous floor. So it would have just uh, not been great. Lucky, this will hopefully be the hidden room. Not. Nah. Ah. Uh, what is that? Just grab it. Oh, it's okay. It's like buying three batteries. I guess that's not bad. It's the heal. Buy it once. It counts as an item though, so I wonder what it does passively. Other than money, health, hearts. quickly. checking because I'm not doing devil deals. I've got the key so that gives you a higher percentage of a uh, chance to get angel room. Uh. <sighs> Having luck with these rooms. might do is lower my health to one heart, go into the challenge room, because I'll be able to heal. But that's probably after the boss is done, maybe. We'll see. Okay, I took damage, so... Doesn't 
doesn't matter. I'm gonna be reducing my health anyway. Pick it up, but I'm not going to use it. Yes, we go. There we go. That's a shame, dude. That's not going to help. I'll do it anyway. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I gave cancer. That's a big deal. effectively a damage up I just got from that. Oh, right. I thought there was nothing here. Okay, be careful. I need one key at least. The Robobab. Go to the shop first. Odds are I'll get a key that way. My moves, movement speed's so bad. I 
kind of remember the layout. Catcher, I get to see the item before I pick it up. And now I need to let the animation play. Okay. It's gonna take one guess at it. Just based on what I know of the map. It might even be here. Yeah, let me... Yeah, got it. Uh, that's probably not worth taking. about my damage it is really not good I don't really have anything special going on here lose to anything it'll be just because no movement speed base damage more or less okay there's the key
so <laughs> I got nothing out of this. Uh, I mean... Oh, what a horrible room. Oh, what? It does that? It doesn't even make it safe to cross. Uh, I'm gonna use this to go to the store. Don't have flies, but I'll buy it anyway. the chance that it does give me one. Boss combo. <laughs> Wait, can I just stand behind it and just keep sniping it? I think I can. I'm not sure this thing has the ability to shoot in reverse. Yeah, it looks like it did it. Really? Okay, fire rate's good though. Sad. <laughs> yeah, there's not a chance I'm doing that. Oh my god, this is horrible. I can't just run across it because she's too slow. What the- what- what was that? <laughs> one. 
Unless I get a high damage item here. I got nothing else to do with the money. The uh, donation machine was broken, so. Ah! <sighs> oh, see, now I could have used the money. Wow. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty much not going to win. That's that's it. Hmm. Since I got to pick up every item once and picking it up, but this will This usually means I lose, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean that's that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just you don't get good items ever in a run, and it's just base damage, base movement speed. Um, Judgment. What I might be able to do though now is maybe get something out of this. Ooh. Okay. I'm not really sure it's going to change anything. I find it weird that luck doesn't affect this thing, it's kind of... Eh, got the IV bag. Okay. I know the trick to playing with, with this item is you just gotta face the opposite direction that you want to shoot in. And then it kind of works. I've had one run where this was amazingly good, but it was super situational. I'm pretty sure ultimately the reason I'm going to lose is the movement speed. It's not good to have the slow movement speed. Slow damage you can deal with to some extent, it's just if your mobility is screwed. When things are chasing you later, it's, uh, it's pretty much death. Oh, my God. 
trying to stand in this spot because this is the best spot to stand in. But she keeps stomping me. I get two doors here if I stand. Oh, come on. Dude, just use, please, doors. <laughs> doors! I'm most definitely going to lose. I doubt that's gonna survive the trip, but I'll grab it. Fire movement speed is important. Wait, what? Why is it positive? I got the fake PhD, why is it positive? It should be negative. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but... Unless- Oh! No, can the foot, the foot. It cancels it? I mean, it's fine, it gave me movement speed. Okay, whatever. other one yeah too much of a liability I think at this point, I should probably take it. I think the ability to take out like a high value target, other than the boss, probably more useful than heal. A one health heal. Oh, what a horrible room. Yeah, like that. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I can only shoot them like this. Jeez. Cool room. Probably not worth it.
Ah, uh, well, there goes that. The T-Rat is nice, but I, I, I'm not doing anything. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh. Ugh. Yep. That would be right. Stop. <laughs> there we go. I was kind of hoping there would be a, uh, a normal gambling machine there. Stop giving me these eyeballs. <laughs> it's just such a pain to kill like this. <sighs> Just can't catch a break. Save you Hanging in there, like I might be able to finish. Okay, that may have that may have uh, won me the run. For real, this, this movement speed thing. Good. It buys me enough time to do what I need to do. If it wasn't for this, I think I would have lost. I think I straight up would have lost here. 
just base damage in a prolonged fight here is not great. Kind of surprised I made it. I honestly thought I, I threw this run by picking up dunce. But, uh, hey, I'm gonna win. Okay. Hey Nick, how's it going dude? Okay, hang on, let me finish my tea, because it's gonna get cold. Isaac! <laughs> okay. Everything is terrible. Uh Still at the course, is just at the lunch break for a few more minutes. Cool, cool. What's for lunch? Oh no, it's a blue baby run. Ugh. I mean, at least he has starting items, so... This might not be too bad, actually. Mind you, I don't know how much health he has. <laughs> I almost kept shooting. <laughs> Hold on. Sir, you're, you're a danger to yourself. Move it, come on. There we go. Come on, poop trinket. Oh wait, I'm getting a fly for every time I destroy one. Oh, is this the rework of this character? Because I heard they did stuff to this character. Or is this just this seed specifically? I can't tell. It'd be cool if this was the default behavior, then this character actually has something cool about it. And it's not just a massive joke. Why do they look weird? Okay, they looked really weird to me. I'm not sure if it was the color or the eyes, but something didn't look right about that. Box of stuff. Let me. Oh, well. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it so the buddy is, like, directly on top of my character. So then it, it's pretty good when you do that. How do you do this? It's like... Okay, hang on. There. Hey, Paulie, how's it going, dude? How's things? Uh, 
All right, I'll find out what it is. Justice. Cool. I got my bomb back. Wait, is there no... Oh. The Staley is one of these ones that doesn't have a, uh, a treasure room. You've discovered Stardew Valley. You played 14 hours straight two days ago and woke up and been playing for six hours straight already. Yeah, that game is uh, super addictive and fun and great. I've played a lot of that myself. You have an Excel spreadsheet for your crops, fucking hell. Serious business. Nah, I don't think I go that far. I think the only thing I do is, uh... Just kind of get to the point where I can try and get all the bundles done in the first year. Or, uh... Like, I, I do one of two things. I either am very sociable and will go for the friendships right away, or I'll just completely ignore everyone for the first year. And just be a fisherman. Make some mad money and then do the friendships. Hold up, what are you looking for? Also, hey Sandy. What? <laughs> See, I mean, I guess that's fun that you're doing that yourself, but uh, surely all this shit's available. You have little- you have zero clue what you're doing, but your fishing level is 10. Yeah. You know the thing you'll find about that game is... At a certain point you're gonna learn something and then you're gonna hate that you didn't know it sooner. And you might just start again as a result. Okay, since there's no treasure rooms, I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go Angel. Sounds like fun. Oh, it happened to me... Uh, like at least four times? I started playing the game, uh... Would have been in my first year of streaming, and then... It got me through that period where I didn't have internet for three months. Like, that's what I was doing every night, playing Stardew. On the Switch, cause, uh... No internet. I mean, all I could do at best was like tether to my cell and browse a few pages, but my download limit was 700 megs. So, couldn't really do much with that other than message people and, you know, let them know I still exist. But that, that fucking sucked, but that game got me through that. And... Uh, I started playing my file, my brother was playing it as well, and I think the very first thing was, he was like, he mentioned something about the strawberries and then I was like, fuck, I didn't even think about that. And so I restarted because I was like, nah, I can have a better spring. And then... What was the second one? I don't know. But I definitely had at least four times where I was like, I can do this better. The gifting and the bundles, like, knowing which items to go for as well. Sometimes I just wouldn't grow certain bundles, because I was like, nah, just go the cheap stuff. And then eventually just got more efficient at it.
you haven't seen this game before, it looks like fun. It's another one of these roguelikes. Where every single run you do is different. Um, this is probably one of the most popular ones. The creator... Uh, grew up in a... A very religious American type... Childhood. So he hates that kind of stuff and this game is... Has heavy themes around that. The loose story is like the story of uh, Isaac where the father tries to kill him and then God at the last second is like lol JK. But now it's like the mother's actually psychotic. You said screw the bundles and went with Amazon. Oh, that's a short playthrough. Uh, it's a Steam achievement, so fine, like... Do the whole thing where you sell out. But you don't get to experience some of the later stuff, I don't think. So you sided with the villain of the story first, first, uh, playthrough. You saw the equivalent of Papa Bezos, like, go into a small business and try to cripple that small business and you were like, yeah, that's the side I want to go with. One of these has to be good. I was wrong. You got tired of walking to the mine and they had the solution. What? But the, the bundles give you minecarts. Like, what do you mean? Oh yeah, they have this and this now. They don't have that unlocked on my file, so... But you were lazy? Ugh, I guess. You know the stuff through them costs more money though. How is the Steam version different to the Switch version? I mean, having mouse controls is nice when you're trying to plant stuff and lay stuff out. As good as the controller is, it's like, it has its issues. Um, loading times is another thing. The initial loading time is, is a lot longer on Switch. But that's just a Switch in general. Um, PC can also, you can also get mods for it, so... People do, like, uh, skins. I think Pete, some people have done, like, extra characters and stuff as well now. Mods is probably the big ones. Like, you got replay value through mods. But, you know, the Switch version has the advantage of you can have that on the couch and in bed. And that was a really good title to have. You didn't know about bundles until the middle of summer, so you didn't have a choice. Well, yeah, I mean, the Jojo Mart playthrough is its own thing, so... I would recommend seeing that through and then doing the normal playthrough. Besides, the second time you play, you'll probably be better at, uh... Like a day-to-day -day thing. 
I think the most overwhelming thing at the start was like time management and having enough time in the day to find the person you want to talk to, know the times that things are open and all that stuff. Like sometimes you're like, shit, I didn't get to do this. I miss Stardew. I haven't played in ages. Apparently 1.5 is coming to the Switch. They haven't released 1.5 yet on Switch. Damn. Okay, I guess that's the other thing that's different about console is like the release updates are a little delayed on console. What the hell is a lemon party? What do you think it is? Yellow liquid that comes out from underneath the character's body. In a game where there's lots of viscera and blood and poop. <laughs> hey, Silver Dirt, how's it going? You know that one of the one of the stages in this, like you literally go into your mother's womb. This game makes you say weird shit. Oh wow, I have to make it pretty far in this. I'm not sure I can finish this, uh, daily. Ooh. I think the issue here is going to be... health. Because it's not giving me items, it's just... The only item I get is from the boss. Uh, I'm doing alright, Silver Dirt. Just... Gotten back into Isaac after finishing Risk of Rain too. Gonna try and 100% it. I didn't get to play much of the uh, new DLC and eh, I'm always banging my head against the brick wall with some roguelike so may as well be this one. This was the very first game I streamed, because I was like... Hmm, what should I stream? It should be something that I'm... Okay at, and that I can talk about, and... This was, uh, this was it. But you know, that was, uh, five years ago. Why do you have a number two next to your name? Probably got to do with the leaderboard thing. Like every channel has a leaderboard for bits and um, gift subs. So probably related to that. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this absolutely sucks. Must have been the hundred bits. Yeah. Probably. Ok, 
Okay, hang on, I'm lost. Yeah, I mean, this game has uh, tarot cards and other stuff. Fortune telling, occult things, and then heavy religious themes. The overarching story is kind of sad. Because you're led to believe, uh... That this whole thing is like, oh, it's a fantasy game where... Yeah, the mother's gone crazy... By watching too many, uh... Christian TV shows. But then it's not that at all, it's kind of left open to interpretation. Um... But the gist of it is, like, the kid comes from a broken home, his parents split, and he's blaming his mother for it. So, he sees her as this monster, and all this is his imagination. <laughs> At least that's the way I interpret it. They haven't seen the final, final ending they added with this DLC. this daily. <laughs> Unfortunately it's one of these special ones where they don't give you items so you have to play around with the mechanic that it's trying to get you to do. I, I can't see myself surviving this beyond the next stage. Unless there's an angel room here that gives me, like, an OP item. Oh my god, this, this is horrible. Yeah. Oh, that saved me. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. I, I survived two near-fatal shots. Uh, 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 I mean, I'm not really using that other one. Shit, I should have blown up the candles. You might be wanting to get a Switch. You heard they got good Pokemon games now. <laughs> Which one is that? I mean, Arceus is alright. I haven't played it, but I've seen. But that—that yeah, that, I was expecting that. Man, that sucks. Two dailies that have just been shit. I don't know. The thing about the modern Pokemon games, it's just. I think at this point, the thing that kind of makes me not want to get them is just because the excuse they dropped saying hey we're gonna try and focus on animations and quality um but we can't put everything in the game anymore which valid right but they're not really doing that and i think uh when i see certain things in pokemon games i'm like this is a multi-million probably billion dollar franchise and you're telling me that you can't do the stuff that other Nintendo games do in terms of quality for character animations and models. I'll give you three examples that shit me, right? One is they re reuse NPC models constantly. So, you know, like, you run into Team Rocket, there's a male and there's a female trainer. And then maybe one other grunt. 
and they reuse those over and over again. You see that same character model for the same characters repeatedly. Oh no, they can't just design, like, say, five or six unique characters. No, they'll just reuse the same three for that type. You see, a, you see one hiker, you've seen them all. So that's one. Two. Anytime a character has to do something that is, say, interacting with the main character or doing something. So, for example, let's say... The most simple one. The professor hands you a Pokeball. They don't animate that. It's empty air. And then it's just like a gesture that they give you something. And it's like that for everything. Or like, they're at a restaurant. And they go, alright, let's sit down and eat. Screen fades to black, they don't animate it. Um... That's two. And three, I don't think that game should be two games anymore. It made sense in the 90s, where there was- the whole motto was, you got to catch them all, and that's why you had the two games. Because it was like, it was encouraging a social aspect, right? And it was kind of hard to, to encourage that any other way. With modern Pokemon, there's no way to get everything. Like, you, you can't. It's, it's impossible. There is no way in any of these new games to get them all. And even if you get both editions, they do bullshit event shit. So it's like... They could just sell one game and make certain ones really, really, really rare. So you don't run into them. Like, make them super rare. And then that still encourages trading. But no, they have to sell two full retail versions of the game. They don't ch they don't charge like $40 for the game. No, it's like a $60 game. Or if you're in Australia, $89. Um, it's the world's biggest franchise, $118.5 billion. Fucking hell. Yeah, so... Uh, that's kind of what gets me about it, is like... It's got nothing to do with the Switch at all. Nintendo has other franchises that don't have these issues in terms of animation. Like, and the amount of money they make. They could do it. They could do it. But they choose not to. Because they don't have to. Anyway. I know it's a very hot take, but that's my thoughts on modern Pokemon. I got a win streak of four, so that's nice. All right, we'll do one more run and then I'll I'll move on to Yakuza. Ah, uh, but uh, let's see if I get help. I don't want to put myself on the back foot with Kane. For a bit. Thanks for your opinion, you still might give it a chance, quite new to Pokemon. I'd say, I mean, check out Arceus. I think that's worth your time. Um, do not check out Sword and Shield, that, that game was horrible. Unless you're into an NPC, like, telling you what to do for 40 whole minutes. I wish I was exaggerating, but that's what it was. Like, the quest in that game, the main story, was just such a grind and... It, beco it becomes a thing where the moment you see the, uh... He's not even your rival, but... He's the other kid in the journey. The moment you see him, you're like, Oh fuck, he's gonna talk to me. And then guide me through something for 20 minutes. It's just... It's not well paced. If you want a good Pokemon game, play Heart Gold Soul Silver. Agree. That is, that is definitely up there in terms of content. But... Okay, if we're talking about purely legal means, acquiring that is really fucking expensive these days. I have it, thankfully. Um... I suppose you could do the big E word that, uh, Nintendo wants to pretend doesn't exist. But we don't encourage such things.
I don't know. Yeah. The ones on Switch. They're, they're okay. They're okay. I, I wouldn't say they're amazing. And from what I've seen of the new one, it, it just seems... It just seems more of the same. You wouldn't download a car. I would if I could. <laughs> That's the worst ad campaign of all time. I mean... The premise is stupid, because it's like, it's giving an argument that is never going to be a reality. I mean, okay, you could download the plans to 3D print a car, but that's not downloading a car. You hate it when people try to say piracy equals lost sales because 99% of people who do that were never going to be a buyer anyway. Um, I mean, I think the answer to piracy is availability and fair pricing at the end of the day. You're still going to get people that won't pay for it and will steal it, but... I mean, you'll definitely get people that, uh, want to consume the media, but definitely don't want to pay for it, like... Australia's a prime example of this shit, like... We have a media conglomerate that's owned by Rupert Murdoch. Um... And what they try to do here in Australia, it's really shit, but it's a reason why Australia has a very high piracy rate. So, let me give you an example. When Game of Thrones was airing, they bought the rights to air Game of Thrones. So the only way you could legally watch Game of Thrones in Australia was to uh, subscribe to their cable TV service and pay for one of the most expensive packages, which was like almost $100 a month, to watch Game of Thrones. And some people were like, alright, fine, I don't want to pay that, but I'll, you know, they release them on iTunes and on DVD, like, the next year. We'll just wait and be behind. No. They blocked the release of Game of Thrones in iTunes Australia. Any digital storefront couldn't sell it. And they blocked the DVD release, so you had to subscribe to this cable TV program thing. Do you want to guess what happened instead of what they thought? Like, they thought, oh yeah, people are going to subscribe. No. You removed away availability, it wasn't at a fair price, guess what people did, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Starts with the letter P. We had the highest piracy rate for Game of Thrones in the world. Party? Yeah. Well. And there's a lot of times where it's like that here. Um, in terms of software, Adobe is really, really fucking bad when it comes to that shit. So, when I was a student, um, you know, students don't have much money, dude. Like, sometimes you have to pirate stuff just to be able to use it. And eventually you do want to pay for it once you get a career in the field and are earning the money. But Adobe, right, they were like, oh, 
Yeah, we don't want to charge students full price, that's cruel. Do you want to know what their idea of, like, student discount was? So think about just a copy of the Creative Suite that has a bunch of graphic design programs and video editing. For a student, do you want to know how much they were charging here in Australia? For one of the most basic additions, it was a minimum of $600 for the whole thing. And then the highest version was $1,200 for a student copy. This is before the subscription thing, so you know. It's before that. The master collection, right? If you live on the east coast of Australia, this is what graphic design studios used to do. They would send an employee over to LA because it was cheaper to fly out an employee to the United States, purchase a copy of the Adobe Creative Suite and fly back to Australia. You would save about $600, $700, depending on how much the flight cost you. And you know, the subscription services is not that much different, like... The moment they launched that subscription service, I... I moved towards, uh... Where I work, getting off Adobe products, basically, and not using them. Just because, yeah, that pricing. Adobe is trash. Oh yeah, they're one of these companies that I hope uh, will go bust. And it's starting to go there. Um, in the graphic design space, they've got a lot of competitors that have very affordable tools that work just as well as Adobe's ones. They just don't have some of the conveniences, which a lot of graphic designers don't need anyway. It's kind of like, if you know nothing about using image editors, then yeah. The Adobe stuff provides a lot of conveniences. But if you get to a point where you know what you're doing, dude, you don't need it. And... Yeah, I mean... There are... They're starting to feel it. In Canada, they're trialing giving out Photoshop for free and then having premium features as a subscription service. And it's because all these uh, other companies are undercutting them. One of the biggest ones is Figma, which is what I... Uh, I was like, no, we have to start using this. This is better than the Adobe shit. And it'll save a lot of money. <laughs> you know it's messed up when it's cheaper to almost fly halfway around the world to get something and bring it back. Oh, garble. Like... The messed up thing about that, right, is the Australian government did an inquiry. So they... asked companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Adobe to explain why they were charging Australians more money. Now... Apple and Microsoft had a good excuse, because they were like... The stuff that they own, they don't charge anything extra. It's just publishers that they have no control over. Do it. So... That was fine. Do you wanna- do you wanna know what Adobe's response to it was? It went viral here, but um... You know, the- the guy doing the inquiry asks him a question. He's like, Why is it cheaper to fly to Los Angeles, buy a copy... ...over there, than it is here? And then at the time, they were about to launch the Creative Cloud, and the dude just started... ...talking about the Creative Cloud and refused to answer the question. And at one point, the guy was so frustrated, he was like, Okay, I don't know how else I can ask you this, because clearly you're avoiding answering the question. But, I'm gonna- I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm aware that you're launching the Creative Cloud. We're not talking about that. What I'm talking about are these box copies. They cost $8,000 in Australia. They cost $4,000 in the United States. Why is that? Oh yes, as you can, well, the Creative Cloud when it launches, you know, and then he just, he just like, enough, just, you're not answering my question, sir. We'll leave it at that. And then the official answer they gave, after that debacle, 
They said, Adobe provides Australians with extra services that they don't get in other countries, like America. Such as a localized version of the Adobe website. Oh, I see, because Australians don't speak English. Okay, so that's why we have to pay double, almost. Thanks, Adobe. I'm so glad you treat Australians so well. I wish I was joking, but that, that, that was... That was the reasoning they gave. Damn, please teach me the language of your people. Repeat after me. Yeah, nah, cunt. Now that can mean yeah, no. To your best friend. Or if someone's threatening you, then it just means no. Follow me. Yeah, nah, or nah, yeah. Well, yeah, nah means no, and nah, yeah means yes. It's simple. So yeah, um, <laughs> in case you weren't aware, I, I don't like Adobe. Much like Blackberry, a company that got comfortable in what they were doing and thinking that they could charge an arm and a leg for shit forever. I hope that in the next few years they, uh, they vanish. I forgot what the pricing is for students now, but it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, oh yes, I can either pay Adobe what they want per month, or I can afford food. Like, w which one is it going to be? And I, I was, I was working two jobs and eating Korean ramen, instant ramen, <laughs> to make do when I was studying. Like, no way I was fucking paying Adobe what they wanted. This run's not going well. I... I get the feeling I'm gonna die. Um... Is there a donation bin? There is. I'm gonna donate the money. Just to progress the shop a little more. In terms of best design software, I hate to say it, but like... The software is still good, that's the thing. It's just they take advantage of the fact that they're an industry standard, that's the problem. It's not that their stuff is shit, right, and they're charging an arm and a leg for it, it's that... It's good, and they know it's good, and they know that they entrench themselves as the de facto industry standard. So they take advantage of it. It's like, it's almost like, hmm, maybe having no competitors is a bad thing. I don't know. I, I got the feeling they're either going to change and, like, become normal because of all the other stuff that's taking their money, or they're just going to go out of business. Either way, I'm, I'm okay with it. might be better. I'm gonna go check the spike room. Uh, I mean, 
Holz. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the classic example of, like, what AAA publishers are in the game industry. I think that's, like, some people talk about how graphic design... They can't understand why graphic designers are so expensive to hire compared to, say, a programmer. Um, and I would argue, like, a lot of the reason is just the software is fucking expensive. Whereas in, if you're a, a programmer, like, dude, VS Code, you're done. Free. Like, I just need a, a shitty laptop and bam, I'm a programmer. The Hermit. And I say this as someone that does both, so... Big Lemon? Free Lemonade Party Time, what is this? It's a bigger version of the other one? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, the items in this game are religious themed. There is that text editor that's like $300 or whatever. Sublime? Sublime still exists? <laughs> no. There's also Dreamweaver, which is the Adobe program that they still, for whatever fucking reason, try to sell. I wish Microsoft didn't give up on the graphic design suite that they were planning to do. I think it was like in the late, uh, what do you call them, like 2000s, I guess? They were coming up with some graphic design software to compete with Adobe and... Dude, it was actually pretty decent. And cheap as well, that was the other thing, but they abandoned it. I was kind of sad because I was like, ooh, this. I could see myself using this over Adobe. And I mean, shit, if VS Code is anything to go by, they may have made it just free or super cheap had they stuck with it. <laughs> I wouldn't pay $300 for Notepad, no. What did I used to use? I, I think I dabbled in Notepad++ for a while, and then... Uh... Man, it's been ages. I don't know. Big Lemonade! This game is from 2011. Fucking hell. Wait, this one or the original, original one? I never thought in my wildest imagination that I'd be using a Microsoft coding program as like a standard thing. Because they were always weird and clunky and sometimes expensive. And yet VS Code is like pretty good. Uh. Used to use Eclipse for Minecraft mods. Oh man, Eclipse. I used to have to use that for uh, Flex, which is like 
sort of a mix with Flash and, uh, like, some back-end services. It was weird. I did not like Flex. Java is a pain. Yep. To be a .NET guy for the past years, you specialized in MSL. Okay. Yeah, me, I've kind of hung up the programming. Um, what do you call that? I don't know. I lost my train of thought, but I don't really program as much anymore. Like, my thing these days is uh, UX. Because that's what I'm really good at. And it's in pretty high demand at the moment, like, not a lot of people can do it well. Or at all, for that matter. Because university degrees, uh, have focused heavily on programming as opposed to, like, the other side of things, which is building good products. Or making something that's intuitive to use. You thought I was a musician, really? Nah, I've, I mean... I've dabbled in stuff, but not nothing to say music. Like a musician, I would never claim that. Damn it. Oh, this room sucks. I'm doing another room. Stop it. This is probably rip. Bad run was bad. Alright, well that goes my win streak. What time is it? It's 9.17. How long have I been doing this for? Uh, it's only been an hour and a half, or I'll do one more. Let's go completely random. Alright, cool. Uh, four base damage, that's good enough. Good start. It's a very Mortal Kombat-like haircut. Very good. Oh yeah, right. Uh, just grab it. Last time I used this item was pretty good. Mm, can't see what that is. Oh. 
poop. Nice. Very good trinket to start with. So one complaint I have about this is just a touchpad shifting it. Okay. It's not even poop, it's petrified. Yeah. But it's good. Ah, oh, crap. Forgot about that. Alright, I'll buy it. What's in here? Ooh, that's good if I can get it. That means I can use that every, every room I can make it heat-seeking. It would make this equipment really good. Hold on. Going for a power move here. Wow. Ah. <laughs> How do I get that though? Is there a hidden way in? I've seen this before, but I wasn't quite sure what to do, unless it's a bomb. Nope. Does anyone know how to get in there? I'm not sure. Okay, leave it. I'm gonna push it to that wall and open it. Pencil. Okay, I think that's perfect. What a player. What is this? Binge eater. Uh, not sure what this does. Aside from the base health thing. Oh yeah, I can go buy the, uh, the thing. Easy telekinesis. Alright, this run's already much better than the previous one. And I can use this every room. Uh, let's guess here. 
No. What the fuck? It changed the item. Um, I'm gonna stay good. I believe in the good. Interesting. If I heal, I'll go back. Okay, that's fine, that's not negative. Uh, hmm. May have fucked myself here a little. We'll see. Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's alternating. Ah, oh, that's what it does. So I can either choose health or I can choose the item that's there. Okay, that's why it was changing. Alright, now I know what that item does. Yeah, that's, that's strange. That's kind of distracting. I don't like it. <laughs> If I would have known, I wouldn't have picked that up. Because now there's, there's always a chance that I accidentally pick up the health as opposed to the item. Oops. This is a risk I'm taking. Ooh. That's a spicy choice. Okay, hold on. I might be able to get an achievement out of this. I just need to do it one more time. Unfortunately, I can't get any money out. Okay, we'll see where this takes me. Oh, cool. I can do it one more time. All right. Spicy play. I got a meat boy. Now 
Nah, I just gotta get health. that. Like permanent health. Oh shit, that's... I get it. Piercing shots. Okay, there we go. That's gonna help. Okay, it's not here. I was just thinking maybe the secret room would be there, but it's not. Okay, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be spicy again. Oh, well. Cool. I might even get to complete a second one at this, right? Oh, crap. You dick. It hit the fact that it was a, a spike chest. Already pretty good, like the meat boys doing damage. I'm going for the health. What is this? Halo of Tears. Okay. Um, let's put this here. This here. Okay, one, two, three. Second meat boy. <laughs> Cause I can. to help me here. Come on. Come on. Open up. Get the valid. Please. 
zombies. I will admit that's the one concern I have right now, so I don't have health. If something rushes me, then yeah, I, I could very well die. Okay, take a guess. Oh, no! This is not looking good now. That thing fucked me over. Okay. Uh, we gotta go back. This is like copium now. Not here. Desperate times when you're bombing skulls. What is that? getting the health. I don't know what that other one is. I can see pretty far. Pretty worth a try. We got a halo of flies. Hey, come on, one of these has to be the secret room. Great. <laughs> Wait, another pill. Okay, hang on to that one. There it is. Ooh, I can't get to that. Move away. Jeez. Another cube of meat. Probably should have gone up the hell. Ah, uh, that's not worth. I can see forever. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like the worst kind of enemy I could have had. Oh no. Well, kind of got no choice now. Um, I think I have to do this. Just to ensure that I don't eat shit from the spikes. Like, uh, I was worried. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room.
really. Um, but I guess there's hearts here, so hang on. I might be able to get an IV bag. If I'm lucky. Another heart in there. No, don't go back. Don't go back. Never mind. Oh, I hate these rooms. Ah. Oh, you dick. There was always a chance it was gonna do that. is probably more important right now. Okay, it's still a health up. Gives me a damage boost. Asshole. I'm gonna take this with me now. No, no, no! Oh, God. Okay. Oh, uh, this is just so distracting. Uh, the deck of cards, or health. Health. And then take this. Donate the rest. I think this puts me in a pretty good position, because then I have a heal. feeling better about this now. Now it's not as tense. Luck up. Let's re-roll anything on a pedestal. Okay, hold up. Damn it. There's a devil room and not a angel room. Don't know what this is. I'm probably gonna grab it. Ring. Mom's ring, damage up. Alright, cool. Take that. Ah, 
asshole. Oh wait, I already knew it was a devil deal anyway, so it doesn't matter. We good. Yeah, I should be able to win this. No problems. Third meat boy. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna use the dice room. Ooh. Taking that. Although, I guess it doesn't matter now. Next one's the final floor. back and let the army do its job. You know what? This is great. <laughs> I'm getting help. Um. Full health. Damn it. I couldn't get it without uh, getting spike damage. Come on. There we go. Really? It's interesting. Damn it. Okay. I mean, I should. Such assholes. It lets me skip the mom fight. Can I even do this? Yeah, that doesn't work. I don't know how you would do that. 
Besides from having flight. Oh, for fuck's sake. I could force the issue there. Okay, my minions, we've got this. Surprisingly, it's not there. should be fine. I trust in my abilities. They're just gonna be on top of them. I figured may as well get the mark since it's uh it's available. Alright, that'll do it for Isaac, I think, for today. Besides from that one horrible run, it went pretty well. Uh I'll play more of it tomorrow once I finish up work, so. If you're down for more Isaac, same time, same place tomorrow. Uh but for now I'm gonna stretch my legs for like a couple minutes and then we'll play some Yakuza 3, so. Get yourself a snack or something, and uh, we'll be back shortly with more Kiryu.